Okay, so this is our new tricky sound. Air, air, air. Hmm, that's not fair. Fair, fair. <laughs> fair, fair. Got three letters making one phoneme. Fair. What about if I put a p? I'm trying to think what does that say now? Pair. Like a pair of socks. A pair of shoes. A pair of smelly socks. Pair. What about if I put a oh in front of it? Lair. A monster's lair. So write some trickier words using air. Let's see if you can work this word out. S t s t air. S t air. S t air. S t air. Stare. Now I don't know about you, but I've got more than one stare in my house. I've got lots and lots of stairs. Stairs, I got the stairs to bed. Stairs. That's a tricky one, isn't it? Let's see if you can work out this one. It's about in front. Hair. 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 Well, that's easy. But then look what happens when I add this. Hair. desperately need a haircut at the moment. Isn't that clever? So air is a very, very helpful phoneme in that word there, isn't it? It's just so tricky to spot their special friends sometimes. But remember, when you look at a word, look first of all to see if it's got any special friends in it, especially in a word like this one. We've done it before. What's this one saying? Chair, chair, because that word has one, two, three, four, five letters in it, five graphemes, but only two sound patterns. So sometimes you have to look really carefully, don't you, to spot those special friends. Now, air is a very special phoneme because it can be spelt in more than one way, which is really, really confusing. But we, at the moment, are just going to concentrate on this spelling here. A, E, R. But if you want to be really, really clever and think of as many air words as you can, that's absolutely fine. If you were to make a big long list of them with your adult at home, then they could show you that sometimes it's spelt with a, A, E, R, E. Sometimes it's spelt otherwise. It doesn't matter. If you could spell all of the words, just even with this phoneme, then we would still think you are super, super clever. Let me show you what I mean. So think of some words with air. Air. Do you know what? Sometimes I go through the alphabet and think of words with that sound in. So if I think of the first one, air, that starts with an A, doesn't it? I could write that there. Air. Air. Easy peasy. Um, air. Next letter in the alphabet is B, isn't it? Bear. Oh, I bet you've all got a teddy bear at home, haven't you? Bear. So I'm going to write that down. B. Air. B. Air. <laughs> Can you see? That's got a different spelling of the same phoneme. That's weird, isn't it? Doesn't matter. Um... Uh, comes next, isn't it? Colica. Um, 
Has that gone air third in it? Care. Yes, it has. Care. Oh, let me write that down. Care. Care. Oh, no. That's a different one again. Care. Oh, gosh, this is confusing now, isn't it? A, B, C, D. D, D, D. <gasps> Look at this. You won't believe it. Sound buttons in, there we go. Fun fair. Oops, can you do that? Um, gee, no. <gasps> hair, 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 hair. You can have hair cut, hair cut. You can have hairdresser, hair dresser. Can you see? There's lots of different ways to spell words with their air phoneme, but most of them are this one that we've been learning today. So that's why we teach you this one first, air. But if you can think of any others, you could keep going all the way through the alphabet if you wanted to. We've got rare and stare. There's two types of stare. There's a stare when you stare at somebody. And then there's stairs that you climb up. The stairs that you climb up are with our favourite phoneme that we've done today. Stairs. Like that. The other stair. It's like this. I was going to stop, but now I'm getting excited writing all these words down. Stair. So anyway, you see if you can think of any others. Again, you could send me an email and show me. But enjoy your phoneme. Doesn't matter. Do you know what? When you're four or five, anything you can write with an air phoneme in it will be oh, so clever. And we will think you're amazing. And your mummies and daddies will think you're amazing. And your big brothers and sisters and Mrs. Blunt and Mr. Linton, we will all think you're amazing if you are clever enough to use the air phoneme. Have fun with it. See you soon. Bye.